today's session, children, we're looking at capacity, the inside space. Now remember, the inside space is literally the inside space, inside. I have two containers here. Today, I'm going to check which of these two containers has the largest inside space. Which one do you think? Is it the small one or the tall one? Pick. Now let's try it. I'm going to fill it up with water until it is full. Okay. Can you see boys and girls? It's full. Almost full. I could probably put a little bit more in there. Yeah, now it is full. So I'm going to pour it into this container and let's see what happens. Oh, it doesn't fit. This container is full of water and there's still more water in here. So what does that mean, boys and girls? Can you think? What does that mean? All of this water didn't fit into this container. So this container actually has the largest inside space. Let me change the experiment. I'm going to, well this one is full. As you can see it's full and I'm going to tip it into the small container but large inside space. And if we are right, then what, where would the water go? Will it be half full, almost full, or full? Have a guess. Let's try it. Wow. There you go. This container is not full. All the water in here went into this container and it only went up to here. So this container is definitely the container with the largest inside space, the largest capacity. What is this container? Is it full, half full, almost full or empty? Looks pretty full to me. What is it now? Almost full. What's this? It's half full. Right in the middle. And what is this? This is empty. Today your worksheet is to colour this bottle full. Colour this bottle half full. Colour this bottle empty. Colour this bottle almost empty. So you can use whatever colours, textures, crayons and finish the worksheet and upload it to Class Dojo.